Hey everyone, in this video today I'm going to show you how you can use your Mac screen as a gaming display for your consoles. So in this video I'll be plugging in my Xbox 360 and I'll be doing that with a USB tuner stick called an ITV Hybrid. There's also another one out there called a Hapage for Mac and they both work the same way. They both have a cable thing here so you can watch cable TV on your computer and they both have a extension cable that you can use to plug in any composite video and audio source. So all you have to do to get started is take your device, plug in the extension cable, and then just make sure you have your other cables plugged in, and then hook it up to the computer. So once you've connected your ITV to your Mac, you should have noticed that the program starts automatically. But the only thing is that it defaults the input to the cable. So to change this to the composite, all you have to do is go to controls, and then go to composite video input. So you'll notice that it changed from the cable to the composite. And at this point right now, we can go ahead and turn on our game console. So in my case, it'll be an Xbox 360. And you should be able to hear the Xbox startup noise as well as the video. And one of the first things you're going to notice when you start playing around with it is that there's going to be a one to two second lag between the controller and what you see on the monitor. So to change this, all we have to do is go to view, display options, and then on the top go to devices, and then where you see encoding, picture, and info, you should be able to see something that says enable time shift. Just make sure that box is unchecked, and then go ahead and click the X, and there shouldn't be any lag at all beyond that point. So let's just say you want it to have full screen. So all you have to do is go to view and then enter full screen. And if you want to change the aspect ratio, all you have to do is go to aspect ratio and then change it to width. But I don't like doing anything with the aspect ratio. I like to keep it at 4.3 because the wider you go, the more picture you lose. So for example, we can go to 14 by 9 which you can see I lost some of the picture up on the top and on the bottom. So I'm going to go back and what I'm going to do is we can make it full screen again. And as you can see it looks pretty good at 4.3. Go ahead and get out of here. And the picture looks pretty good even if I move around a lot it still looks pretty good. Um, there's not any lag at all. I played Halo there's no lag so so that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video. Again, the tuner stick that I'm using is the ITV Hybrid. Um, also, the Hapage TV tuner is in the description as well. Um, the one I'd recommend, though, is the ITV Hybrid. The reason why I like it is because in addition to playing the console on the computer and getting the, the cable TV on the computer, the ITV also has software that allows you to stream the TV that you're getting on your computer to your iPhone or iPod Touch, which comes in really handy if you're ever um, like in an airport or in your house and you just don't want to, um, you just want to get TV in your pocket. It's a pretty cool thing. Um, so that's pretty much it. Hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.